Let's take a look at iCal now. This is the calendaring software that comes with Mac OS X Leopard. And iCal is an important part of the trilogy of applications of Mail, Address Book, and iCal itself. They work together to provide integration for a collection of activities that focus around addresses, mail, and calendars. What I want to do is to start by showing you iCal itself and then we'll look at the integration with mail. The calendaring software looks like most calendaring software does. There's not all that much you can do with a calendar except one thing you can do and this is very important to people whether they're working with calendaring software on a computer or something in a date book on paper Every one of us has our own preferences for how we like to see our calendars. I happen, for example, to like to see weeks that start on Monday because that's what it feels like to, to me. You can choose whether you have five days in a week, that's a work week normally, or all seven, and you can choose when the day starts and ends for the calendar. You can show a birthdays calendar because you can put birthdays into your address book, so you can show them in the calendar and you can do other things here such as adding default alarms. You can synchronize the calendars with other computers that use .Mac. And if I click here you'll see system preferences open and I go into the .Mac pane which is right here. And my choice is choosing how to synchronize and what to synchronize. .Mac functions as the central hub of the information that is going to be synchronized and you can choose to do it manually or on some automated schedule. If you are synchronizing using any method you can choose what it is that will be synchronized and for me calendars and contacts are sufficient. Now we're talking about synchronization here that is based on .Mac up on Apple servers and includes all of the computers that are registered to a single .Mac account. For many of us that's one at home and one at work. It may be two at home or three at work, whatever. As long as they share one .Mac account they can be synchronized if you turn on the preferences for that. This is important because synchronization with an iPhone or another external device like some other smartphone happens between the computer and the phone. In the case of iPhone, it uses iTunes, but in the case of other smartphones, it may use other software. The synchronization through .Mac is for the computers connected to a .Mac account, and to an external phone, it is from one computer, typically, to one phone. Now, you can construct a network whereby, for example, a home and work computer are synchronized with their contacts and their calendars through dot .Mac and then one of them is synchronized to an iPhone so in that way you can construct a network that lets you share events between the two computers and the phone but it happens in two pieces one is in the case of iPhone iTunes from computer to phone and for the computers themselves through dot .Mac